Welcome, I'm Fred from Gestisoft, and today I'm going to present you the whole process of Database 365 Sales from prospect to the invoice. Also, I would like to present you the platform behind Dynamics 365 called the Power Platform. As you can see in any Office account, you can view the application called Power Apps. Power Apps is the tool that's going to help you customize and personalize the CRM to your needs. Also, within the Power Platform, you can find Power Automate. Power Automate is an application that gives you the ability to automatize any process that your business has to make sure that your team doesn't waste their time doing manual work that could be automated. Within Power Apps, you can also create apps from a template to help you better manage your business. As an example, one template that exists in Power Apps is onboarding tasks. So you can set up onboarding tasks for newcomers to your business so they can know what they need to do their first week. Those applications are all based into the same environment as Dynamics 365. So it's a really good tool to make sure that you create apps that answer really specific needs for your business. As I mentioned before, you have the flow that's going to be the automation in between the different process within your business. So now, let's move to the main subject, the application Dynamics 365 Sales. Dynamics 365 Sales is there to help you simplify your processes. At first, you want great dashboards that can help your team identify what they need to work on this week. As an example here, as a salesman, I can see my open lead and my open opportunities. I could see email requests that I received this week and review what I need to work on those leads. I could, using the business process flow, to see what I need to do to qualify. The application has by default, the business process flow called BENT. So we want the budget, the time frame, identify the decision maker, and make sure they have a real interest for our product. So here as a salesman, you want to gather as much information as possible to identify if that specific opportunity can be qualified for an opportunity. So here, I've got the possibility to qualify the lead into an opportunity. As you can see, by qualifying the opportunity, a sales change changed to develop. Now I've got to gather different information to make sure that my opportunity evolves within time. Each sales stage can have specific information for you to gather and should be adapted to your business. Also, we can find out there is something called forecast category. It's gonna use every stage of the forecasting platform within Dynamics 365 to make sure that you can have a better view of the upcoming sales to be closed. Also, I can add more sales team if I need to instead, as an example, a pre-sales to help me prepare to close. H here, the next step, I will need to create a close to make sure to link the, the current product that I've got in my CRM to the opportunity. The close is gonna use the information within the product with the price list to make sure that everything is calculated by itself. At first, I want to select a specific price list. By using the price list, it's going to segment the different product I can assign to my quote. As an example, I'm going to use the product and package services. Here, I want to add new product to my quote. I 
I've got the possibility either to use existing product for my product catalog and the price list. It's gonna look into the, the price list I currently using into the quote to find a really specific product that are existing within that price list. I've also have the possibility to create my own product based on maybe specific requests for the customer. Also, there is a possibility based on the roles and security that the user have to operate a price, maybe based on the requests uh, from the customer. So by clicking here, I can see I've got a product called Armband 100. I can select the product. I need to re reassign the product to my quote. By doing save, it's gonna gather all the information from the product list, and you can see here that the price per unit has changed. Got the possibility to change the different quantity, and again, when I save, all the amounts and all the information is gonna change. <coughs> if I go back to my quote, you can see now the total amount for my quote has been changed. And it's using our product catalog and our price list to really manage all the information within that quote. Next up, I want to specify effective found date. Let's say I'm supposed to sign up from the night. And you have to sign before the end of the month. And save the quote. I can add more information like freight amount, add discounts, set up payment terms, freight terms, and much more. Once my quote is prepared, I can activate the quote now. By activating the quote, I cannot change the information anymore. Now the next step, I've got the possibility to send the quote through an email as a PDF. If not, I can use other solution like Adobe Signing to send it by email and make sure that the customer sign the quote electronically. Let's say at first I send the email as a PDF and the customer send me back uh, the quote signed. Now I've got the possibility to close the quote. The second option is to create an order. By creating an order, the status for the quote is going to change automatically to one. The date is going to take the date of today. It's going to automatically close the opportunity as one well also. And it's going to use the actual revenue from the quote to update the opportunity. So the sales team doesn't have to go back to the opportunity and manage all that. Everything is managed within the quote. Let's click OK. You can see now the quote has changed to an order. The ID behind the order, I've got the possibility to either fulfill the order for my fulfillment team or create an invoice for my accounting team. If the customer has requested a specific delivery date, I can enter the information. I can also add notes, add more information, add a specific billing address and a specific shipment address. If the customer has, has requested a, a new product or a second product to add to uh, the order, I can add the product here as well. So I don't have to create a second quote if there is minor changes within those orders. The next step is I want my fulfillment team to simply fulfill the order. By doing so, they, they can simply set it ship today by 5 p.m. We can create automation that the customer and the sales team receive notification when it's fulfilled. The last step left because it's been fulfilled I can simply create the invoice from here. 
going to use all the information from the quote and the order and bring it back here. I can confirm the invoice as being reception by the customer and also I can flag the invoice as being paid. I can also change the status if it's only being paid uh, partial. But the idea here, because uh, I'm going to complete that whole process within my CRM, uh, either my sales team or my fulfillment team can see the information that the invoice has been paid by the customer. So if there is a second order coming up, and there is a lot of invoice spending, maybe the salesman could mention that to the customer. By having everything within your CRM will improve your processes. Thank you so much for listening today. If you have more questions about this prospect to invoice process in Microsoft Dynamics 365, don't hesitate to send us questions. Thank you and have a great day.